Okay, once you have your image scanned, uh, and when you do that on your scanner at home, I recommend that you scan it at about 600 dpi and scan it, of course, as a full color photo. Uh, save it as a JPEG, that's the easiest thing to do um, as far as editing is concerned. And then make sure you remember where you save it to. I only point these things out because they're all things I've done incorrectly. Um, then um, I'm currently using Photoshop to do one more thing to the photo before it's ready to be shared um, in my Etsy shop or on social media as sort of a uh, JPEG download or a free download, digital download. Um, you can do this in Microsoft Publisher, which is what I previously used, um, and it's actually fairly easy. Um, it's a little harder to figure out how to do it in Photoshop unless you're watching a video like this. Um, I learned how to do this from another YouTube video, so if you don't understand mine, um, just do some Googling inside of um, uh, YouTube and there is a video. There are plenty of videos out there. So I have Adobe Photoshop um, 2015 open and I'm going to go over here to this button right here that says open and I'm going to click on that and it's I'm going to go to my downloads file which is where all of my images are and I am going to open one of them I'm going to open this one I've actually done this one already I'm going to double click on it and it should open there we go so this is the digital doodle um, that I did for my Facebook group yesterday and I had so much trouble figuring out how to basically get rid of the white paper. You want to get rid of the white paper. It reprints a lot nicer and a lot easier if you do. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure this out yesterday. So I thought I'd pass it along. You go up here to layer and you go to layer mask. No, sorry, that's wrong. Uh... Oh, sorry. Yeah, see, that's wrong. I've only done it a couple times. You have to unlock the layer first, then go to layer. There we go, and then layer style blending options. Um, then I'm going to take this, um, the little thing that here that says this layer, and I'm going to move the little arrow here on the white end down towards the black end. And can you see what's happening to the image as I'm doing this? I'll move the box out of the way. All these little gray squares are showing up. That's because now that background is transparent. And the farther in I go towards the grayscale or the black, the more shades of white it's going to find to do that to. So I'm going to just move it enough that all of the white background paper is gone. And then hit OK. And now this is done and it's finished. And that will reprint very nicely and easily over any other background. And it will just print the black, which is what you want. If you have any little areas of your drawing that you can touch up, which I actually do down here, there are ways are ways to do that. I'm not going to show you how to do that right now because I'm not that good at it, but um, there are plenty of YouTube videos out there. But this is a really easy way to just take that white paper out. You just want to see the artwork and then go up here to file and save as and then save it as a JPEG and again mark what file on your computer that you've put it into so that you know where to go to look for the completed work. That's it for right now. I hope that gives you some great ideas of what you can do. This is just really easy basic Photoshop stuff. It's really honestly the only thing I know how to do in Photoshop. So anyway, uh, I, I learned more new things I think that you guys might be able to use. I will be sure to pass them along. Don't forget to do the most important thing, which is go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later.